adjusting your saddle height is something you can do you know, pretty easily on your own um, as long as the, the top of the saddle is the right shape. You know, you're just working with a flat surface on the bottom. So on this particular guitar, the saddle is sticking up a little over an eighth of an inch, and this is nice. I mean, this is kind of what you want if everything else works out. And the truss rod's adjusted correctly, the nut height's set. This is a nice, healthy amount of saddle sticking up above the bridge, and it's the desired action. So this is kind of the, you know, the perfect situation. Now, if you wanted to raise your saddle because your action was too low, this is an example of a little rosewood shim that I've glued on to the bottom of a bone saddle. And I just started with a thin piece of rosewood that was a little bigger than the, the saddle and then scraped it down with the razor blade after I glued it on. It, it was a veneer I began with. And this way, the saddle and the shim aren't two different pieces and it doesn't become unstable. You know, the bridge that this was used in was made of rosewood, so there's not much difference between having the shim and not having the shim, you know, tonally this way. And on the other hand, if I wanted to remove some material, I've made a scribe line on this saddle, which I'll show you how I do. So I'm going to take my, my machinist ruler here and scribe a line at, at 1 32nd of an inch. And I'll even measure it just to, on both ends, make sure I've got the right line right where I want it. It looks good. So now I've got a piece of 80 grit sandpaper here on my flat bench. And I'm just going to sand this saddle down until it it's until the bone is gone, and I just hit the line. And be really careful to hold the saddle straight up and down. You don't want it leaning one way or another. And I'll just simply kind of go for it. I kind of check along the way and make sure things are sanding evenly. You know, you can put uh, pressure on one end more than the other to control kind of how much material you remove on one end versus the other. And there, I've just hit my line. And now I'll pop it back in the, the guitar and string it up and see if I'm at the right action.